Back on September 22nd, Microsoft launched eight new products. And the one that I'm most personally excited about is the new Surface Duo 2. Should we call it the 2.2 or the 22? I've been a Samsung user since I ditched my iPhone many, many years ago. For the last few years, my Samsung of choice has been the Galaxy Note series for one simple reason. Digital devices need to have pen input. The original Surface Duo never made it to Australia. As I pointed out in a previous video, the lack of NFC made it a non-starter for tech-savvy locals who like to pay with their phones. For the last few years here in Melbourne, I've even been able to tap with my phone to ride public transport using Google Pay. The local authorities have rightly not allowed Apple to gouge their 30% from public transport payments, so Android is currently the only cardless way to ride public transport in Victoria. So without this option, the original Surface Duo was never going to be adopted in Australia. The first Surface Duo had an older processor, a pretty basic camera setup, and well, it was all a bit new. Whilst the design showed a lot of promise, it was apparently let down by buggy and underbaked software. Nearly two years on, things have changed a lot. The overall design of the Surface Duo 2 is nicely refined from the original, the dimensions have been tweaked, the processor upgraded, there are more cameras than you can poke a stick at, there's 5G, new brighter 90Hz AMOLED displays, a fingerprint reader, even a kitchen sink. Uh, no to the kitchen sink. Everything that you could want in a phone seems to be there. But let's talk about why the Surface Duo exists, how you could use it, and even though the Duo 2 is pretty unique, how it compares to other phones in a similar category. Firstly, why is a pen so important? Well, Microsoft's Peter Kiriakou spoke about the importance of using a pen in the Surface launch event. The benefits of writing with pen are incredible, from boosting memory to improving mental and physical health. Our series on the science behind the Surface Pen explains why he can say something so profound. Check it out with the link below. Back in 2001, it made complete sense to me to have a pen on a computer, but using a pen on a phone is tricky. The screen is just so small. As phones have gotten bigger and bigger, how wrong was Zoolander, by the way? Phones with pen input have become a little more realistic and yet still compromised. I want to be able to take a quick note, jot down an idea or a to-do, I could type it, of course, but I'd be far more likely to retain it if I could write it. I do use the pen on my Galaxy Note phone, but not nearly as much as I'd like to. The screen is just too small and narrow, the pen is too skinny, and it's not easy to write with. But now, Microsoft is sending us a Surface Duo 2 to try out, so it's logical that I'll compare it to my Galaxy Note 20. I'll also compare it to Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 3. Since it has dual screens, it's probably the closest thing to the Surface Duo even though the approach is very different. The new Surface Duo has two 5.8 inch 3x2 panels. They're not joined in the middle, rather there's this funky folding hinge that connects the two halves, and the middle edges of the displays roll off to create a book-like effect. The gap between the two halves has been reduced in this new model. There's no display on the back of the Duo 2, you have to unfold it to use it, but you can fold the displays all the way around for single screen use. In fact, in this mode, you can do all sorts of things with the other half, like use it to prop up the device. Now, I love this idea so much because with my Galaxy Note, I designed and printed a TPU holder that props the phone up so that I can make video calls and watch content on it hands-free. With the Duo 2, I won't need a stand like that because it's built right in. When you need more screen real estate, you fold the displays into the open posture and the two displays work together seamlessly in sync as one at 90 hertz. The two screens combine into an 8.3 inch 3x2 display with 2688 by 1892 pixels. That's bigger than an iPad mini, but with way more pixels. Of course, there is a gap in the middle of the two displays, but I'm sure like your nose, that that gap will quickly be tuned out by your brain. So you can use the two displays together as one big display, or you can use them separately with apps side by side. Certain apps will automatically take advantage of this two screen setup. For example, Outlook would show you your inbox alongside of an email. A game might show you the controller on its own display rather than over the top of the game. Or your camera could show you a full-size preview of the shot that you just took while the camera app is still open. Even if the app is not dual screen ready, you can still run it in full screen, spanning the two displays or on its own display. So you can have the YouTube app open alongside of your web browser, email alongside OneNote, Amazon alongside eBay, your picture gallery alongside your Word document, Excel or PowerPoint alongside of a Teams or a Zoom call. It's this capability that Microsoft have been refining over the last couple of years that I think sets the Duo apart from other phones. And I think it's incredibly important. In fact, I think this is the future of mobile devices. 
Don't get me wrong, today's cell phones are incredible, computers in your pocket. But why with such power do I need to park things in my memory while I jump between apps? I have to remember the time and date that you wanted to meet with me while I jump into the calendar app and flick through trying to find the right spot. When you're forced to do this, there are so many opportunities for you to lose your place and to get distracted. But by having the information that you need side by side, you can stay focused and double check the details much more easily. This capability will allow you to do more than ever before with a phone. Fold the Surface Duo 2 shut and the rounded inside edge lights up showing you your battery status and notifications. Unbelievably, the Surface Duo's already thin display panels are now even thinner at just 4.8 millimeters and just 9.9 .9 together when closed. So even though it's a two screen phone, it's no thicker than my Galaxy Note 20 when it's closed. By comparison, the Z Fold 3 is around 15 millimeters. 9.9 millimeters on a two screen foldable phone? That is an amazing feat. Although the Surface is only able to achieve that size because it doesn't have a third outer display like the Z Fold 3. Since Surface always steer towards the three x two display, the Duo 2 is a bit wider than the Galaxy Note and the Z Fold 3, but it's also a little shorter. While the Note 20 and Z Fold 3 both have very wide 19 and 24 by nine aspect ratios, good for watching movies, the Surface has a much more productive 3x2 display, better suited to taking notes, reviewing documents, and managing communications. The Surface Duo 2 has had a big upgrade in the camera department. There are now three cameras, wide, standard, and zoom on the back. You can shoot 4K video, and there's optical stabilization built in. There's a time of flight sensor there too for shooting photos with that fake bokeh effect or background blur. I'd consider myself a photographer, at least a hobbyist, and I hate fake bokeh with a passion but I understand that for most people, it's just a pretty photo. Photos and video taken with a phone always look flat and boring compared to what they could be if you used a real camera. There's simply no overcoming the physical limitations of a tiny sensor, but a well-composed photo is a good photo regardless of the equipment used. And the photographic equipment that you have in your pocket is much better than the camera that you left at home. As you'd expect, it appears that the cameras enclosed in the bump at the back of the Surface Duo 2 will deliver good photos to a high standard, without the need to resort to rubbish hypno-marketing buzz terms like computational photography. Why can't we just say camera app without parroting marketing spin, people? Sorry, let me get back on track. Taking photos with the second screen in play promises to make the process of capturing timeless moments much easier than ever before. But just on that bump, Microsoft seemed at pains not to show that the Duo 2 would not fold over flat anymore. But Dan Rubino from Windows Central shared a photo of the bump, and I noticed that there is an angle built into it, so it'll essentially act as a stopper for the device when it's folded right around. There will be a gap, which we're kind of used to the concept of an air gap on surfaces thanks to the Surface Book series. I'll be interested to see how that air gap feels in use once I get my hands on the Duo 2. And by the way, as I mentioned, Microsoft are actually sending us a couple of Surface Duo 2s for me and my brother Matt, who pops up here on the channel from time to time. We're looking forward to sharing the experience that we have with you. There's a camera on the inside for selfies and video calls too, and there are now two microphones, which should deliver a really high quality voice experience. So as we mentioned, the new Surface Duo 2 supports Surface Pens, just like the original Surface Duo did. You can use any Surface Pen on it from the Surface Pro 3 Pen, all the way through to the new Surface Slim Pen 2. That's because the Duo 2 display incorporates the Microsoft Pen Protocol, or MPP standard, as do many other non-Surface devices. So you can use any MPP pens on the Duo 2 because as Microsoft were at pains to point out during the launch event, the displays are both made from super strong Corning Victus glass. The Samsung Z Fold 3 uses Corning Victus glass too, but there's a special plastic film over the top of it holding it all together which means that you can't just use any pen on it. The Z Fold 3 incorporates the same S Pen technology as the Galaxy Note series. We know that tech as Wacom EMR, or Electromagnetic Resonance. Wacom EMR pens are powered by the display itself, they don't need a battery at all. And you could use any of the myriad of Wacom EMR pens that have been made for different vendors over the last two decades on the Z Fold 3. In fact, the pen that came with my original HP tablet from 2001 would work on the Z Fold 3. However, Samsung specifically recommend that you don't use any old Wacom EMR pen because they could damage the sensitive screen of the Z Fold 3. So you're limited to just the specific pens that Samsung recommends with softer, specifically designed tips. On the other hand, with the Surface Duo 2, you can use any MPP pen like the great Renaser pens that we've reviewed here. 
You don't have to use the new Surface Slim Pen 2 as shown in the videos. If you do want to use the new Surface Slim Pen 2 with your Duo, there'll be an optional cover that allows you to magnetically attach it and charge it. It'll also work with the original Surface Slim Pen. The cover clips onto the back of the device, keeping the pen in reach when you need it. It also comes with some bumpers to protect the edges. The experience of writing on that 3x2 unfolded display promises to be a lot more fulfilling than it is on my widescreen Galaxy Note 20. As soon as we can, we'll bring you an update on that experience once we have the device in hand. One of the key reasons that I've loved my Galaxy Note phones over the last few years is the Your Phone app on Windows. Samsung did a lot of work with Microsoft to make it possible to run apps from your phone directly onto your Windows PC. We did a video on that recently, link below. As you'd expect, that tech is built into the Surface Duo 2 as well. So the Surface Duo 2 promises to allow us to get a lot more done on our phones. And as such, it's being launched here in Australia, but not at retail stores. In the US, you can get it at Best Buy and other retailers, but here in Australia, it's being sold as a productivity device, only through the Microsoft Store or commercial resellers. And that makes sense to me, because this device is sure not for everyone. If you get one of these, your chats will show up in green on your friend's super exclusive iMessage chats. Apparently that's considered shameful among the teenage TikTok set. Don't even think about this device if you care about that crap. This is a device for people who want to communicate, create and lead, no matter where they are. If you need to jump on a Teams or a Zoom call on your mobile device, then this is the device that you should look at. You won't find another device like it. The Surface Duo 2 hits Australia on October the 21st and we're expecting ours to arrive around that time. We look forward to being able to share the experience with you. Let us know what you think about the Surface Duo 2 in the comments below and make sure that you subscribe to the channel to follow us on this journey. Coming to you in the official Microsoft Udi. Udi? Logo? Microsoft logo? I don't know what this is. It's anyway, came from the Surface team at Microsoft. Keep me warm in lockdown. More lockdown.